Hi everybody, today I'm going to use pen tool side to draw a character. At the moment now, I don't really have any idea what I wanted to draw. At this point, I only think of drawing a good looking guy maybe. Now I'm drawing the rough sketch of a guy. I think I'm going to draw a good looking Templar line. Now I'm putting in simple line drawing. One thing about drawing, uh, if you didn't pre-plan what you wanted to draw, your idea will be running around. I mean it's fun but if you are a beginner artist starting to learn to draw, I don't recommend you do that. gonna lose your direction so I will recommend pre-plan before you draw you can get a reference from drawing or a photo you know uh, and after you've been drawing for a while there's enough element that is saving in your mind you know, and watch a lot of movies comics video games at this point Point now I change my mind. I'm gonna draw an undead knight. Yeah. If you're a student, you're still studying, then playing your time properly. Work hard and play hard. Maybe he's a fearsome warrior from hell. Some witch or warlock can summon him to do their own selfish work. They have to pay for that. Maybe they have to offer him their most precious apple, pineapple, and pen. <laughs> Just so lame. Okay, you'll see me using magic wand quite a lot later, it's a very useful tool, I mean you pre-select the area that you wanted to draw and you draw worry free. <laughs> you will see now this scary dude have a sort of good guy crest and carving on his armor. I purposely designed it that way. I'm trying to show that he used to be a good guy. Somehow along the way of his life, he turned more and more to evil. Maybe because of greediness or hatred, who knows. If people wanted to turn bad, they find all kind of excuse. You might be wondering why I spend this much time to create a background story for the character. Here's what I think. If you want to create a character, breath life into your character. Wow, that sounds so smart. <laughs> I don't know why drawing this character remind me of the movie Mummy. Hmm, I wonder why. Ah, I get it. The Templar Mummy is chasing Tom Cruise under the sewer system. <laughs> That's why. People say creative people is just a bunch of guys copy each other intentionally or unintentionally. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Am I saying that? I'm a creative guy? I want to puke! That's my uh, humble opinion. Creating a background story for your character design helps you to have this uh, emotion attachment with your characters. Okay, we know that he's dead and become undead in hell. 
But why Satan chose him? Obviously because he's talented. You know, Satan always wants to distort the uh, creation of God to mock God. Now become the uh, bodyguard come slave for the devil in the hell. He become the uh, torturing soldier in the hell. He just want to torture people. The more he torture people, the more pain he feel. No matter what he do, no matter how many people he torture, the more he torture, the more pain he feel until some point he just don't care who he's torturing. Even he torture the demon in the hell, he don't care. It's so painful. It's kind of like looking for a way to end his life. He wanted to seek death, but death flee away from him. He just feel really, really miserable. Sometimes he even that we those humans been uh, punished in the lake of fire. Compared to him, the punishment seems like heaven to him. He's looking for a way to end his life. There's no escape, no way. He's there forever and ever. So that's the background story for this character that I'm doing. So once you have this background story that you create for the character, and when you draw them, you can kind of feel it, feel what's the uh, character that you're designing, being true, the background story of the character that you're creating. And when you draw them, you're connected to the character, whether you feel pity for the character or you feel sad for the character. You have some sort of uh, emotion attachment and that makes your character feel a bit different compared to you just drawing something that have no purpose in it. Originally, the choice of weapon that I wanted to give this character is a sword. But after consideration, I was thinking it is more suitable for giving him a, a battle axe. Because a battle axe you know, give people the feeling of more brutality. Let's talk about pen two side a bit. One of the advantage of the software, this software is very friendly, user and convenient uh, when it comes to line art drawing. Honestly, uh, Photoshop can't create this kind of uh, line drawing that pen to side is providing. Of course, there's uh, other drawing software that uh, give you very good line drawing like Manga Studio, I think there's a uh, another software called Clip Art or something. I'm using this magic one. It's kind of convenient to use it. I don't think I saw many sign artists using this. But it's very convenient so if you eat to the uh, pen tool side try using this it's a very very convenient tools
Okay, now I'm in Photoshop. I'm going to draw a waist pouch. Pay attention to the line compared to the line I did in the uh, pen tool side. Sorry, Photoshop. Pen tool side win this round. You win! <laughs> Okay, bye guys. I'll create a pen to side coloring video in future. <coughs> uh, wait, wait, wait.